righty, my man. So I gotta tell a story. Uh, I'm a UPS driver and I'm out in the boonies. This is qualified as boonies, am I right? Yeah, I believe so. And I saw a bunch of Broncos. I think I delivered here two or three times before I saw you. Did I leave you stickers? I don't remember. I don't think I've seen stickers. They might have blown I'm gonna, away. I'm gonna give you some stickers. And I was like, oh my gosh, and these cool Broncos. And then I think it was like your wife walked me through your barn one time, because <laughs> there was like three in there. I came home and she was excited to tell that story. How <laughs> this guy came by and I showed him all your Broncos. <laughs> like, so I'm like, I, some guy I don't know, I just showed you all of your good <laughs> yeah. stuff. Where so, do you give the expensive stuff? It's over here. <laughs> yeah. So long story short, got in contact with him and, and talked Broncos. And I said, man, I'd love to come out here and shoot some videos. Fast forward a while, we're finally doing it. And uh, it's a beautiful I, day in January. Yeah, it really is. This is global warming. I mean, yeah. right now. <laughs> I wanted to talk about the Broncos and he has a bunch here. This one right here, I think is the most fun. You guys notice it's a little dirty. Uh, we did a little, we had a little fun. <laughs> there we go. I think and, I got uh, a chip in it. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, so we had some fun. What size tires are these again? Those are a 38 inch tall, 15 and a half wide on R20 rims. Oh my gosh. All right, man, what's your name? Chris Billings. And he took me for a drive. We're all mudded up a little bit. Well, actually, I fared pretty well. In my defense, I didn't tell him we were going to hit the throttle when we went through the mud puddles. So. I don't care. That's fun. <laughs> but uh, so tell me, man, how did you acquire so many Broncos? So it started out a long time ago. My brother went to visit my grandparents in Minnesota who had built a 66. He bought off a trapper and he rode around him when he was 14. So we bought, he bought Gumby when he turned 16. We are wrenching on it with him for two and a half years. I bought Pokey. Been, I mean, I've had it for 31 years now. It's just gone through a lot of iterations Where did the nicknames come from? So Gumby is Gumby yeah. Green. Okay. And so the, this, we so this used Gumby. to be... And this used to be orange, and now it's been painted back to the factory color <laughs> under the mud and under the paint. Wild strawberry metallic. But I bought this when I was turned 15, and, you know, just drove it through high school as my daily driver, and just started going from, you know, 28-inch tires to 31s to 33s and 35s <laughs> and then 37s, and now I'm in 38s. It was funny, so, we uh, nothing left it in two-wheel drive and dug a rut, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, man, you left a rut, and he said, what'd you say, like the side? You're like, how deep is that rut? I'm like, oh, probably about 38 <laughs> inches. <laughs> Give or take. Yeah. Maybe 15 and a half inches wide, I don't know. So is that why you bought this farm, to kind of have fun with your... Uh, with your no, uh, I, you know, I lived in Florida for a few years, and I just kind of want to get back to Missouri, because I was kind of, I grew up here. Where and are you so, from? Uh, well, I was born in Minnesota. But I meant, oh, right. Uh, yeah. And then I went to Pleasant Oak High School and graduated there in 94. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so then, you know, I lived in Florida for a few years, and then moved back, I wanted to move back home, and so I, you know, moved here, and I bought a house in town, and then I met my wife, and then I really wanted to move back to the country, and got hers talked into it, and so... We uh, bought this house, somebody had started it, and so uh, it was just a foundation with halfway frame, and so we leveled it and built the house, and then we built the shop and had a place for the Broncos. And What do you do for a living? I do construction, remodeling okay. and stuff. So nice. I do additions and kitchens and baths and siding and soffit and windows and fascia. And how'd, you, how'd you get in that? Uh, well, when I got a job, nobody would hire me, so I worked, worked for my dad, and so he had me sweep his cabinet shop, and then... Uh, so you got good at the woodwork. Yeah, right? I got good at that, and then I'm like, hey, you're doing tile, show me how to do that or I quit. And I'm like, then he do some wiring, I'm like, show me how to do that or I quit. And <laughs> painting, how do you do that or I quit? And one day I was like, hey, show me how to run the business or I quit, and he's like, So it's like Bye. you forced him to labor you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to learn as much as I could, yeah. and so he taught me how to think about things and how to, you know, see what's coming up, and... Well, it worked, it, really it well. worked because you bought a whole bunch of Broncos over the yeah. years. How many do you have? Uh, I'm up to five right now. Oh my God. I think I had eight at one time. And there's a couple that are like pieces of Broncos. Oh, yeah, around. I've got about yeah. four full Broncos in parts. But ah, I, at cool. one point, I was trying to get the collection of every 66 to 77, and I was short like three or four. But I had a 66 and a 69 and a 71 and a 75. So you got into Broncos because of, what do you say, Gumby The green one, Gumby, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, my that's sister wrote that on the window. Catacomb Racing, that's Kathleen Thomas Christopher Michael Billings Racing. Dude, that's cool. So I've got a Facebook page with like three followers. Heck so. yeah. yeah. Hey guys, head there. <laughs> so it's K-A- Catacomb Racing. Yeah, okay, K-A-T-A? -A? Yeah. C A M C O M B C O M B. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Head there, guys. Make it whatever. Blow it up. Blow I want it up. At least yeah. five people by this weekend. <laughs> Boy, if I had it, the teens, I'd be happy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, tell me about this one, then. I mean, this is pretty awesome. When'd you buy it? When'd you get a hold of this? So, this one I bought in 1991. Um, well, it's been my baby ever since. It's the one that's never going to be for sale. Yeah. Um, it's got a 302. I've upgraded it to a five-speed manual transmission. It was always a manual. It had a three on the tree when I bought it. Yeah, that was pretty fun until the linkage went out and I had to go to the floor shifter. And, oh no! Uh, I've got the factory Dana 20 shifter. Um, I've got 456 gears in the axles. Got lockers front and rear. Disc brakes all around. Power disc brakes. Power steering. So, ignorant questions. It's still rocking the Ford front. Yeah, Ford Dana rear? 44 front and nine inch rear. 
Still rocking the, from the Bronco, or did you pull it off something Oh, else? no, these are the original axles from it when I bought it. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I've, I've upgraded the front worn shafts and rear worn shafts. I mean, the housings are the same. But also, you had to probably do some stuff to handle yeah, these. Well, yeah, so. I didn't want it to blow it out. <laughs> well, I had a bearing go out on the back end one time, and the tire almost fell off, except the disc brakes held it on, so I had to park it on the side of the road in Florida one day, and I was like, wow. I'm going to give you bigger, better axles. And so I went to 31 splines in the rear. Could, and Could have been the end of this Bronco. Yeah, rolled it. Had all my camping gear in it. I put a note in the window, please don't steal my stuff. And it was still there <laughs> the next day. So I want to ask you again, but how did you get a hold of this one? Like you just said, but I want more details. It, it was on, uh, I think back then, there was like the Penny Trader or Penny Power or something right, like yeah. that. Somebody had a two-line How ad. old are you? 46. <laughs> Way back when. <laughs> back before the internets when I invented the, that. The interweb. <laughs> yeah, so it just found it one day i was looking for a car and um i was really mad because i was gonna buy a like an 80 k5 blazer and thank god he did. mom said go looking for one the car and so i found that and i cried because she wouldn't let me buy it and it was the first car i went to look at and yeah like two weeks later i'm still looking i found this and it was eight months before i turned 16 paid 2400 bucks for it which um, was probably a lot of money for that That was a lot then. of money back then. yeah i, paid I meant even for a bronco at the yeah. time you know <laughs> but it was really clean didn't have any rust on it yeah. and paid mom back 100 bucks a month for two years and paid it off when i graduated high school and Wow. Clear title of my name. That is cool. And so when did you start doing the modification? So when you found it, oh, it had the fenders? Oh, it. Like the oil, the oil pan was leaking, so I replaced that. Yeah. But I meant like, did so it had cut fenders already? Uh, yeah, the rear was already cut, and so it had fender flares. Um, okay. But it just had the rear flares, which is pretty common on these. But right. then I wanted, the, wanted to kind of match, and so I did the front flares. Um, then I had to make them bigger, so we bought the Gorilla War flares from Wild Horses. And so they're bigger and taller and longer and wider. Oh. And, Stuff, so yeah, I'm looking at the suspension. It looks pretty stock. You use the same spring yeah, perches. Yeah, it's got it the same like. coil spring buckets. Uh, it's a five and a half inch lift, uh, two inch body lift. And you said front disc, rear disc. Yep. Uh, disc what kit did around. you go with? Do you remember? I just something just, off. James I or literally something? found it off the internet. Like people <laughs> on forums back in the day. Like, hey, do this to use Chevy disc brakes on the rear. Oh, okay. Chevy disc brakes. Like, I thought. Like, I thought you meant like I got it on eBay and I bought it from China. Oh yeah, no, no, China this is before kit. China sold us stuff. Oh okay, cool. Bought it from China. You're not that old, dude. <laughs> But yeah, yeah cool. so like I had to That's like, you know, I had to look on eBay and stuff and found like some brackets and then I started cutting my own brackets from a yeah. stuff I borrowed from a guy and That is cool, man. It's got the trail proof steering. So what's what's the what's the So every so often I'll I don't know, want to move something around. I actually have a rack that goes on the front for my camping gear and stuff. Okay. So that's where the two inch receiver hitch. So uh, basically you take this probably do you take it mud to shows or anything like that? Uh, you know I, what I mean? I've been like in a couple events? of shows, yeah. Uh, my my neighbor Chris Carter, he had a show and he had me put it in. I got seven votes. So it was pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah. I didn't vote for it myself. I voted for somebody else. So when did you do the door thing? Uh, I always liked the Roadster look. Um, and I've got the doors with it too. I just wanted to do Roadsters because I wanted to just open air. Just didn't want to have to mess with doors and tops and stuff. And yeah. usually park it in the garage. So I didn't care about weather and sits outside most of the time. Did you anyway. do the roll? No, that roll bar came in my wife's tan 76 Bronco. So I stole it from her because we okay. don't drive hers. So. so what engine did you said 302? It's a 302. Stock? It, no, it's been bored and stroked and polished. And my brother actually built that engine when he lived in Minnesota because uh -huh. he moved up there to finish college and stuff and he's working on his. And so he built that motor for his. And then I was too poor in high school and so I didn't drive my Bronco because I couldn't afford the oil. And so I rode the bus to school and so it leaked really bad when I first uh, got okay. it. <laughs> I was like, was oil expensive then? Yeah, well, no, I just couldn't buy any because I didn't have a job. You, yeah. So um, <laughs> my younger brother woke up late for school and he's like, oh, I'm late. I missed the bus. I'm going to drive Christopher's Bronco. And he drove it, made it halfway to school, blew the motor. And Michael's had been sitting there for, at that point. So I'm like, hey, can I borrow your motor? And so we took it out of that and put it in here. And ever since it's been in here, just tearing it up. But he he pol hand polished all the intakes and everything on it. And That's cool. Man, so it sounds like a race motor. You Yeah, it sounded good. What what exhaust? Uh, I made that with my pipe bender from Harbor Freight. Wow. And glass packs. So glass packs. I was yeah. going to say it sounded like glass packs. Like... Yeah, that's glass packs and Harbor Freight bender. Heck yeah. Don't look at it because it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I bought, I bought $30 in tube and 50 bucks in mufflers and did that's it myself. Cool. What transmission? Uh, that's the ZF 5-speed from a 91 F250 Okay. that I bought off of my stepmother. And you explain that. That's better than the ones that came in the f Yeah, yeah. It's the heavier duty version. And yeah, it's made for small blocks. So it bolts right up to a 302. And Very cool, man. It came behind a 351 Windsor originally. And yeah. It was fuel injected and all that stuff. And I almost went fuel injection, but it's still four-barrel carbureted. Until it's that just, carburetor gives you a reason. It, it works. You know, to not you run it, then... You saw the hills we just did oh, in the mud. Yeah. It just opened right up and just did it all so it I'm, died once and i blame you not the carburetor i had it in fourth not reverse it's same right spot <laughs> right there i know <laughs> we're only going up and down hills clearly and operator error <laughs> <laughs> what rear gears are you running 456 wow heck yeah so it's a little low i'd kind of like to go a little lower like 513s or something just because you're not getting on the road much with this yeah, one, yeah. yeah it's, and it's got overdrive anyway so i can still go 60 if i so, wanted uh, i don't are, want to go 60 those are four now. gears with a fifth overdrive yeah that's cool yeah granny low and an overdrive high so what'd you where'd you find the seats or did you get them redone or uh, 
nice those ones. are actually in the tan the light blue one that my daughter claimed and that was in parts and pieces and so i needed seats and mine have been recovered but i haven't put them back together right and so i'm like well these seats are ready to go so i just they are those nice seats in there. Yeah. yeah they're pretty they uh they're holding on to the motor real nice yeah. <laughs> well it gets into stitching it kind of dries in there <laughs> yeah it's great Adds aesthetic. Yeah. So, uh, are you going to do anything else to it? Like, what's the next plan? Oh, uh, no. Besides rear gears. Yeah, that's about it. I, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, the tires are too wide. I got to put spacers on the back so the shocks will fit back on. Just little goofy stuff like that. So, it doesn't have any rear shocks on it. Uh, that explains a lot, actually. Yeah. While, while we were <laughs> that's why it kind of hits in the, the back, you know? <laughs> yeah. That is cool, man. You don't jump once. It's like three or four in a row. It's like a ah, frog hopping. So, when it comes to the lift or anything like that, do you know what brand you went with or did you make it all uh, yourself? It's the Wild Horses five and a half inch lift. It's got, I think, the 11 leaf packs in the rear okay um and then the, the body lift i bought a plastic you know two inch puck lift mm. way back in the day to fit the transmission and stuff in there and so back when i was rebuilding and i couldn't find half of the pucks and so i went to a machine shop and had him cut me some aluminum ones oh there you go and they're actually cheaper than buying a still rocking the one. leaf springs I yep like that. Yeah, the shocks, yeah, the shocks, the shocks are just chilling. You're yeah. not, they're not like on there, but they're not yeah, on they're there. They're bolted on the bottom, so that's where you hit stuff first. But yeah, I see that glass back. What's the kind of orange cable? Out. Uh, that's the breather for the rear differential. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense now. Because they go through mud and stuff. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, your exhaust looks good, dude. Right? I mean, it works. About? It's not technically past the cab. It's like right under the back seat, but... That's you know. cool. Would you change anything on it except those two Honestly, things? Honestly, no. I mean, it's it's perfect the way it sits for me. It's like I said, cool. I've got doors and a hard top and half tops and all that stuff. But you got, you got to just jump in and run. I mean, seat belts are a new addition. <laughs> yeah, we didn't use those. Yeah, we didn't even use those. Uh, you got widow mias? Yeah, my baby <laughs> mias. Well, in Amazon, if you notice, the pictures look different. It's kind of like ordering off a wish. So they showed well, up. You know, and they're teeny. The reality though is we hit a lot of tree branches on the way through, so that yeah. actually works out great. Yeah, they know? just fold right out of the way. I mean, that's why I thought side by side mirrors would be great. But that was great. And if they break off, I'm out thirty dollars for the set. So. So besides the ones you talk about, what do you have left? Um, so I've got a 69 that drove to where it parks. I've got a 75 in there that she first claimed, and then I got my wife's 76, and then this is a 75, and my uh, green Gumby's 77. Wow. So you're just holding on to the other ones for parts? Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of parts ones over there. You know, the some two I see have really nice bodies. Yeah. I mean, like, there ain't, I mean, you probably might have fixed rust on this one, like, uh, maybe. Yeah, I took but that one out on homemade rotisserie and, like, rolled it over in the shop and replaced it. That one over there looks real clean. Yeah, that's a fiberglass body, so it's got the integrated flares. What? I noticed they looked weird. Yeah, I was like, that's why they're built in. What? Well, that's kind of the thing now. Now they make metal bodies where the integrated flares front and rear that match and all that stuff. But yeah, because the only rusty part is the, the gas, the gas cap. cap cover. <laughs> that's awesome. I need to come back out here and do some more videos. Anytime you want. You're like, welcome. You know? Anytime. What fun. I mean, we did the we did what I didn't think we were going to do, which was go and hit the trails. But I don't know what else to do in a rock. I know. Though, I was man. like, I mean, well, it's, it's not a princess pavement trailer queen. I mean, it's true. a well. <laughs> Let's try not to roll it today and go from there. Would you would you trailer it to? Uh, there there's was a, more. There's a show and um, just a, it's just a normal show. Oh, show. You'd show. actually have to wash it, you know, for that. I did once. Or rinse, I yeah. guess. Um, drive actually, it real no. Fast you know what? Just drive it there like this, and people will love it. Yeah. But uh, well, all, the, all the jeeps will be pretty clean. I'll be the only one there, there with mud. There's no jeeps there. Thank goodness. Oh. It's actually a F100. <laughs> oh, nice. But Bronco and all that stuff like too. It's a show in yeah. Branson, Missouri. Oh, okay. And uh, I think it's, I can't remember now, June or July, third, second week, I don't remember now. Well, now but... I have a goal. I'm going to try and drive it there. Really? I'll road trip this one. Yeah, heck yeah. Well, heck yeah. I've done thousands and thousands of miles on it. I mean, gas mileage is going to be fantastic. Well, I got the factory 12-gallon tank in the back. Heck yeah. <laughs> there you go. I might upgrade to the 23-gallon I got in the shop. Oh, sticker time. You want heck some stickers? Yeah. Heck yeah. I'm feeling white. left out. I got white ones here. Let me see if I have any more. They're for the windows, right. um, but you can do, yeah. <laughs> you can put it on there? Dang right. Hold on, let me see if I have a, I wish I had a black one for you. That would look great. This is a black one. Well, it would be black with white lettering. Anyway, I want to give you a blue a blue one, which looks purple. Oh, I'll put that on my wife's, or my yeah. daughter's Bronco. Yeah, my other windshield that broke before I put this one on. It says Jeep Recovery Vehicle. It has the crosses on it, little oh, horses yeah. in the corners. Hey, thanks, Boom. Man. It's cool. official now. That's cool. Let me give you another white one you put on a toolbox or give to a buddy or something. Well, I had five Broncos. You got five stickers? God, why are you being cheap on me? No, just... There you go. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You can have them. Yeah, you can give them to him, too. I'll give yeah. him some. Oh, yeah. We'll put one on it. It's just Cadillac. Yeah. That way he knows why it comes out. <laughs> we can put it on his, what do you say, brick nose, bull nose over yeah. there? Well, uh, man, thanks for the impromptu hey, trail time. mudding thing we did, dude. Yeah, when you said you want to come out and do a video, I didn't, I didn't know what else to expect. I was like, well, I guess we're going to Wheeling today. Well, I wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah. but and, you didn't and, want to impose. But also because you got to leave here in a minute. So yeah. I was just like, well, maybe I'll come back out and do it. got nine minutes. We can make another round. <laughs> Heck yeah. But uh, yeah, next time, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'll think of it. Well, we'll take the it. green one. Maybe you do some driving yourself. You got to put a tire on it, though. 
Well, it, it, I, I that's under, what we can do next time. I under can pressured I, it. Heck can yeah. I just drive us around the field or Dang something? Dang right. Do we have, we have nine minutes? <laughs> so. Oh, now you're in. <laughs> I say go for it. <laughs> well, maybe maybe we'll do it. Maybe we won't. But I'll let you go. You got to go do stuff with your kids. Thanks for coming stuff, out. So thank you, man. Uh, hey guys, follow, subscribe, check out his. Uh, what is it called again? Catacomb Racing. On Catacomb Facebook. Racing. There you go. And check out his Broncos. I'll post some pictures of it as well. And that sticker is Ford F100 World. Are you part of that yet? No, I'm not. So it's Facebook. Head there. Um, we've been copied a bunch of times. Mine's the. It's 115,000 right now. Head there and I'll verify. Yeah, there you go. And post pictures of your Bronco. People oh, will I'll love put, it. Uh, get ready for download. There you go, man. A photo dump. All right, see you guys. Thank you.